morning guys November 25th 2025 you know, I got a call from a guy I've been servicing his burner for a while um, he's got a uh, oil fired peerless boiler with a Roth tank outside two pipe system coming into the house to a two stage oil pump so it's so bleeding he said he didn't run out of oil but it won't fire. He said he hit it four, three, four times, it won't fire. So either he's not getting spark or maybe the nozzle won't woke on us. I don't know. We'll have to go by and see. Go by and see if we're getting an oil flow out of the pump. See if we're getting spark. If we're getting oil and we're getting spark, then she should fire, right? But we're gonna go over there and um, seeing what's ailing this thing I was just over there recently a couple of months ago maybe a couple maybe a month ago two months ago and did a service on it changed the filter the filter is by the burner uh, it's a two pipe overhead line Roth tank outside so it hasn't really been that cold out to uh, be an issue with that unless the pump went wacky on us we'll figure it out uh, it's a two pipe so um, it's self bleeding you know even if it had air in it and you hit it a couple of times it's gonna bleed itself two pipe system so I, don't, I don't doubt if it's the pump unless you know maybe the motor to pump coupling let loose and you know the motor spinning and the pumps not spinning that would do it too <coughs> we'll figure it out Gotta get him heat. That's a two pipe. in Germany all right so he said he's got it off here and he's got it off at the air handler so I should be calling if I turn this on yeah we got one zone calling so plus this thing maintains temperature I believe so it should be off on yeah it's off on uh, oh. Look at that, see how that wire is? We'll fix that. Could be this transformer's bad. That's what I'm thinking. No delay on the valve. We'll fix that wire first thing. Black wire. Put that back where it belongs. Soft one. Soft one, no. Uh, tripped off on uh, safety right now so it's not gonna come on. We'll get this ready to rock. It's spinning all the fine. I don't think that the motor to pup compliments on this shoe. We'll uh, we'll put our gauge on here and I got a gauge I can put on there and see if it's you got any oil pressure? Got a little, little gauge with an adapter on it. We'll see if we got any oil pressure. It could just be that the trans. We're gonna check the transformer. This is only a 15 second. Um, It's only a 15 second delay protect the relay all right so we should be able to once we start it we could check our spark 
we start it, we'll see if we're getting oil pressure and we'll check our spark. <clears throat> right? I mean, it's probably off on high lockout. I gotta hold it in for. Gotta hold it in until it flashes green, so that might take three minutes. Got a good screwdriver here that I don't get shocked with. Gotta hold it till that flashes green, then I could release it and it should start, and then I could check the flip this open and check the spark. Alright, there it goes. Yeah, we got a bad transformer there. No spark. Yeah, that's not problem. Look at a bad transformer. I might have a used one in the truck. I'll see if he wants a used one or a new one. Hey, Steve. Yeah, you got a bad transformer here. Do you want a new one or a used one? I got some used ones in the truck. I sell it to you for half price. All right, well, if you think it'll work, as long as the heat works, it's fine with me. Well, yeah, I ch always check them, make sure that they're good. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's safe. Uh, I call you again, you come back. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll put a user one on there. I mean, save you some dollars, right? Okay. All right, yeah, bye. Sounds good, thanks. All right, I'm going to use transformer in the truck. We'll ch put it on there and check it. Save them some. Usually sell them for half price. They used. All right, let's see what we got here. I got, I got some, I got some used transformers here. And I got new ones and I got used ones. Column. Uh, that one that was like on there. Oh, the column. I got motors. And I got all the stuff over here. Motors and protect the relays and, and get my used one. I okay, know again, getting oil pressure. Yeah, we can see that, right? Pressure should pump up to and then drop down. So it pumped up to 116 and it dropped down to 140. <gasps> right, we gotta get a change this out I got the power off to it we know that transformers bad not even a, there's no doubt about that transformers bad you could see it was barely barely sparking it ain't gonna work This is um I've seen that thing was a wimpy wimpy spark. It wasn't getting any spark. This type of control will drop out the transformer so these electronic ones are okay to use if it's um, a constant duty you're better off with the other transformers the uh, the solid big bulky transformers are better for um, continuous spark in action this one is this one here shuts off
we'll check it and make sure it's good. Check it, make sure it's good before we. Uh, you know, uh, what do we got here? Blue. Blue is the transformer. Blue goes to the transformer. White also. The white goes to all the whites go together. That thing should spark without using the screwdriver. Now what happens with these trans what happens with these burner parts is if I change a oil boiler and it's got a good oil burner on it. I'll strip the parts off it and I'll repurpose the parts as I need them for used parts. Uh, some people some people want used parts, some people don't. I ask them, give them the, give them the option. If they want the used stuff, I'll save them some money. If they want new, we'll sell them new. Alright, we're gonna we'll start it up. Usually I could just go like this and I could hear if it's sparking. But usually I could hear if it's if it's sparking you could hear it right away. And then we'll check it, we'll flip it over, I'll show you what I mean. Alright. I'm gonna turn it over. Ain't gonna run for long because it's already gone through its potential. Here it's sparking. Hey, we're good. We're ready to rock on this baby now. Alright, make sure that the CAD cell's in there where it needs to be. It's not all black. CAD cell's not all black, so. Put the. <clears throat> we'll put it back together and she should fire right up. Might smoke a little bit because he's been hitting it. Might be a little smoky. And we know we're getting oil flow. No spark. Now when I uh, when I start this up, if it starts smoking, you got to keep it running, because if not, it could explode. We'll fire it up. And if it, like I said, if it's smoking, you got to keep it running. Might be oil in there. Get the smoke. Keep it running. That smoke will will go up the chimney. You don't want to shut it off because it can explode. Uh, you gotta keep it running. So I always tell people not to keep it in these stuff. Do people listen? No, they don't. Alright. Use transformer. Last time I was here was nine. Nine, two months. Two months. I'm in here. Last time I was here, change this control.
Utica audio system. I wonder if he changes the filter. I guess he does. She's a running mama. He's a runner. Ew. A little leak, a little leakage. Clean that cap off good and we'll see if we get it to stop with the cap. If not, we gotta change it. Hope not. That can fucking show off. Yeah, this fucking thing's leaking. Bitch. Why you can put some Teflon in there and get it to stop. This thing here, the top broke off, but I got a brass cap from a, from a valve. It should be the same, same thread. I should be able to tighten that up on there and stop it. Oh, they're gonna change it. Throw up a gasket in there. I right, put that brass cap on there. It seemed to be whole, and now this other, this other one's got like spots on it. And I tried tightening it, and it just kind of let loose on me. There's a gasket in there, but. That one's working better. Off on high limit. Alright, that's better. I feel better about that. The boiler was starting to rust. We don't want that. We've got glycol in the system. Alright, so we got that capped off. Use transformer capped off high vent stop leak. That was off a uh, stop and waste valve. No smoke.